Audi says the demand for its fossil fueled cars will begin to collapse as early as 2026, which what it's only just over a year and a half from now. And Audi is saying they are well and truly ready for this. They're saying, you know what, we're going to be EV only in well, almost all the world by 2032. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. You know, we're seeing a, a rapid shift to electric cars in China. It's the biggest car market in the world. It's Audi's most important car market. Uh, we're seeing it happen in Europe very, very quickly as well. It's a bit slower in North America. Um, you guys are a bit more backwards, like us Australians, unfortunately, but it doesn't really matter. Audi is saying, you know what? That's irrelevant. By 2026, demand will begin to collapse very quickly for gasoline powered cars. Audi says it won't slow its EV only plans. It's still axing internal combustion. Audi's CEO, Gernot Dolner, says the German car manufacturer will not alter its electrification plans despite growing skepticism by the Western media, saying that Audi still believes it will see a significant reduction in sales of combustion models in 2026. And they're actually getting concerned that actually um, it could even happen earlier than that. Dolan took the top job as CEO at Audi last year, and he was tasked with bringing the firm back to the forefront. I mean, Audi kind of felt like it was going in the wrong direction. So they fired their CEO and brought in this new guy. His first task has been to equalize the product strategy initially, focusing on two models, underpinning the PPE platform, which is Audi's new EV platform. The firm will then shift focus to launch more than 20 new electric car models in 2024 and 2025 and 2026, and it will focus on being less complex by 2030. What does that mean? Hybrids, plug-in hybrids, internal combustion, all of those will come down in terms of percentage of Audi sales mix. The focus is going to be clearly on electrification. Audi plans to completely phase out the sale of internal combustion in Europe, North America, and China by 2033. Now, if you look at the car market worldwide, uh, that's, that's about 82% of all cars sold worldwide. In fact, it might be about 83%. That's it, 83% of all cars are Europe, the US, and China. So Audi is saying by 2032, um, it'll basically be an EV only company. We will position ourselves well with a new generation of all electric models and we'll be able to act flexible, flexibly if necessary. Now, Audi have said though, they're gonna bring out new internal combustion engine vehicles and plug-in hybrids over the next two years. Uh, some people think, well, what's the point? I mean, realistically, are, people, are those vehicles really in demand? I mean, if you bring out a really good electric car, um, people get excited about it. I mean, the Xiaomi SU7, right? The Xiaomi SU7, they sold, 100,000 of those in a single day, 100,000. There's a lot of demand if the vehicle is perceived to be good, and that vehicle isn't good. It's crashing all over the place, but the perception was it's good, right? People know Xiaomi in China, they know Xiaomi, it's a global brand, and they sold 100,000. So the perception there has to be that Audi make good EVs. And the problem that they're facing is that other companies um, or other consumers don't really see Audi as being an EV brand. So they've got a lot of work to do. Dollars said that Audi had started standardizing components and will gradually leave combustion powered vehicle segments. Significantly reduced sales volumes for combustion engines are expected in 2026, he said, meaning it will no longer be economically feasible to continue building internal combustion vehicles from that period on. So he's saying that because Audi will be manufacturing so many less internal combustion vehicles, that a lot of the factories that make these cars will have to shut down. You can't run the, a lot of these factories at 50% capacity. They're just economically unviable. Like for, for example, if you have a car factory making 100,000 vehicles and all of a sudden now it's making 50,000, well, you've got to let go of a lot of your staff, but you can't let go of some staff. So basically you're going to be overpaying for the actual production. And that'll mean the cost of producing each individual internal combustion vehicle will actually begin to rise as the cost of producing each EV begins to go down because of mass production. Our last combustion engines, which will be present in 2026, will probably not go on sale 
until the following year. If you assume a classic life cycle of seven years, um, yeah, then that's it. That will be the, those will be the final models for Audi. During his interview, Dolner added that even if Donald Trump wins this year's US presidential election, and if right-wing populists win the European Parliament, electric mobility remains the only way to meet CO2 emissions, um, and basically they're the, the only possible alternative. Even if there is a willingness to change the laws again, we would not have a new political situation before the end of this decade, he said. And until then, the current regulations apply and we are able to act within them. Guys, I personally see Audi struggling. I, I think Audi will be fine in terms of selling electric cars in Europe. I'm sure there'll be plenty of demand in Europe. That probably won't change much, but it might go down 10%. Not, not a big difference. But Audi is not a European car company. They're more of a Chinese car company. More of Audi's vehicles are sold in China than what are sold in Europe. And Audi will unquestionably lose a large percentage of their sales there. The Chinese population know that Audi's new EVs in China won't be made really by Audi. They're sake. Sake are making the platform. The battery packs are coming from CATL. So you're getting a body shell that looks like an Audi, but actually it's um, a collection of Chinese parts. So the perception there is not really there that Audi is a premium EV brand in China. That's their most that's their most popular popular country. Now, in America, you've got new brands popping up who are making EVs. You, you've obviously got Rivian, you've got Tesla, you've got Lucid, you've got new brands. But how do you also, I mean, are they really perceived as being at the forefront when it comes to luxury cars in America? I think probably BMW and Mercedes have a higher perception um, value rating in America. So I do see Audi sales suffering because their primary market sales there are going to shrink significantly. So they'll lose at least 40% of their sales by 2030, making them more of a niche brand than they are today. That might not be such a bad thing. And when you think about it, the company is owned by parent group Volkswagen. But here's the thing. What will Volkswagen do when the entire group sales begin to shrink? Because Volkswagen have $200 billion of debt. It's only one company on the face of planet Earth with more debt than that. Evergrande now, they cease to, they don't exist anymore. They went bankrupt. So there's only one, and that's now Toyota. They're the most indebted company on the Earth. The Volkswagen group are second. They owned Audi. Now, if Audi isn't profitable, the Volkswagen Group are going to have a big struggle ahead of them. Thank you for watching.